freedom. I saw that I was bigger than what I do. I was bigger than my body. I was everything and everyone. Where one is able to understand that this body is simply a garment. Just that we change clothes from day to day. That the body is simply being used by the soul. And I know what they had. It was just pure white light. It was whiter than the whitest snow and brighter than 10,000 suns. And I could look right at it and it was compelling. It was compelling. now documented as the strongest generator of both electrical and magnetic fields in the body. Now this is important because we've always been taught that the brain is where the action is. The brain has an electrical field that does have a magnetic field, but they're relatively weak compared to the heart. The heart is about a hundred times stronger electrically and up to five thousand times stronger, five thousand times stronger magnetically than the brain. And the reason this is important is because the physical world as we know it is made of those two fields of energy electrical and magnetic fields of energy electromagnetic fields our own physics books now tell us if we can change either the magnetic field of an atom or the electrical field of the atom by doing that we change we literally change that atom we change the stuff that our bodies in this world are made of and it appears now that the human heart is designed to do both, to change both the electrical field and the magnetic field of our bodies and our world, and they do so in response to the emotions that we create uh, between our heart and our brain.
there are 300,000 manuscripts and books on peace. Each of these books and manuscripts have been read by an average three people, including the author and the publisher. <laughs> well, who wants to read another book, you know, about peace? We want to create peace. There's an actual science of peace. Because the field of consciousness is the field of unity, field of bliss, field of peace. On a tangible, palpable, powerful, physical level, millions of times more powerful than the nuclear force, if we can just access it. But consciousness can access it. What we need are more peacemakers who develop their nervous systems to the point where they become lighthouses of peace, radiating peace. comes to uh, a tsunami or shift in the tectonic plates, if you really believe in consciousness, even that you would say has, has a connection uh, to turbulence in the collective mind because we are part of nature, right? You are part of nature, you're not outside of nature. So if the collective mind is turbulent, nature is turbulent. We, we tend to separate ourselves from nature, but we're not. You know, if we settle down, maybe nature will settle down.